we're going to show you how to install a 220 volt line for your rework machine. You have the option of using a transformer to convert it to 110 volts to 220 or just have a direct 220 volt line. I personally feel that a direct line is better. That way you don't have to worry about an expensive transformer or the transformer failing on you. Not to mention it's better for the wiring as the, uh, the wires don't get as hot. So you want to make sure you have the breakers off in the general area that you're working on and you want to get a um, 10 by 2 wire which would have uh, two colors and a ground. This is actually 10 by 3 um, but we'll just have an extra wire pretty much. You want to strip the wire and this is going to be the ground and these two will be the live wires 110, 110 and ground I'm going to strip this at the 10 setting These wires are much thicker than wires you're used to soldering with, so they're harder to deal with. <coughs> we have a 30 amp breaker. 20 amp is more than enough depending on the wattage of your machine. Um, so 10 gauge and a 20 amp breaker. We have a 30 lying around, so we're going to use that. Um, best thing to do is to unscrew with those unscrewed you would stick the two lives in and then you would screw those in tightly the tighter the better you don't want to lose connections you don't want anything frying your circuit breaker um, so let's pretend that we have those in there. We would um, then place the breaker while still keeping it off. And you know, we have those two lives there. And this is the ground bar. You would connect the ground wire there. And then you would turn on the breaker. To test if you have the other end of the wire connected to an outlet um, and then the machine will work. We are going to show you how to wire the outlet, um, the plug for the outlet as the machines that come from China have the either Euro or Asian style plug and we want to use the US 220 volt plug. So we will show you that in a moment. This is the rework machine that has the 220 volt plug. We are going to rewire the plug. This is the plug that it comes with. Um, Asian or Euro style, it all depends on the manufacturer of the machine. Typically, this wire uh, with the dual colors is connected to this point, the ground. And these two are the lives, so it's usually like that. With the, uh, obviously the cover on top, and it comes like that. We take this off, noting where each position is of the plug. This is a stranded wire plug, not solid core, so it's easier to work with. Uh, this is a plug I got from Home Depot, but couple bucks. Slide that in there. Then 
we take this wire for the ground. This is the ground, as you can tell, and two lives over there. So we put this in the ground port. Make sure it's tightly in there. Make sure it's tight. And we do that for the rest. Probably the hardest part of the job. Getting the plug in the proper place. Screws lined up. Again, make that tight. And this is to also hold the wire tightly in because you don't want a loose wire, it could cause a lot of harm. There's your plug, ready to be inserted into the 220 volt outlet that we installed. And then the machine is ready to be turned on.